Hi, in the screencast, we'll see how to create your first cloud application on Microsoft Windows Azure platform. This demo is based on the commercially available Windows Azure platform that just went live on February 1st. I'm using Visual Studio 2008 Express Edition SP1 and Windows Azure tools for Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 1.1. We'll see how to sign up for Windows Azure, develop your first application, and finally how to deploy the app on the cloud. So let's get started and sign up with Windows Azure, the very first step. So we'll visit Microsoft.com slash Windows Azure to initiate the sign up process. The home page would greet you with multiple options and links to download SDKs and various tools. But we are interested in the pricing details, so we'll go ahead and click on the pricing part of it to see the various options available. You would actually notice there is something called introductory special, which is great for beginners. The best thing about introductory special is it's not going to cost you anything till you hit a specific threshold. And this offer is available till June 30th, 2010. Now we'll click on get started button to go through the sign up process. In this page, you notice that there are multiple options available for you to subscribe. And because we have decided on the introductory special, we'll go ahead and click on the buy button. This is where I'm going to use my live credentials to sign up. So I'm using my existing live ID and I'm going to click on the sign in button. In the next screen, we'll notice that the Windows Azure platform introductory special is already added to my shopping cart. Now I accept the service agreement and I click on checkout to complete the formalities. So this is where I'm going to provide my billing details, shipping details and my credit card number to complete the sign up process. So once we are done with the sign up process, the Windows Azure platform introductory special will start showing up in our subscriptions tab. You notice that it's currently active and the service has been enabled for us for deployment. The second step is to get the appropriate tools and the SDK. For that, I click on the tools and SDK link to install the Visual Studio tools and the Windows Azure SDK on my system. You'd actually notice them showing up in my start menu. Once I have these in place, I can click on the Visual Web Developer Express Edition to get started with my first cloud application. When I say File New, I notice that there is a new cloud project type and I can select that just like I do for Windows and the web. So now I give a name to my cloud project and I see multiple options and I want to develop a simple plain vanilla web application on the cloud. So I select the web role and just like I develop my classic ASP.NET web app, I go about dragging and dropping bunch of controls. And what I'm trying to build here is a very simple clock and to automatically update it without the flickering and the flashing of the browser, I'm going to add the Ajax controls and set some of the properties. So here you see that I'm actually adding bunch of controls, changing some mandatory properties and I'm going to write exactly one line of code uh, to make sure that my label is updated uh, every second. So I'm configuring my update panel to automatically refresh or asynchronously, asynchronously refresh my label based on the timer event. So that's all I do and at this point I switch to my code window and write one line of code to update the label text uh, for every tick of the timer. So this is where I assign the current time to my label, as simple as that. So once I am done with the basic code and the design, it's time for me to launch the application. So just like I 
deploy or launch my ASP.NET web app, I hit F5 or click on the debug button. And this is where you would notice that there is something called Windows Azure simulation environment in my status bar and in my tray icon. So that's going to provide me the required runtime and the environment to run Windows Azure applications on the local development system. So this is where you would actually notice that I am running exactly one instance of my web application. The great thing about this is it, it provides the same environment that that actually runs your cloud application. So you can thoroughly debug and test your application locally. Once our application is tested, it's time for us to publish. So I right click on the project and click on the publish button. This will take some time as it's packaging my web app for the required format to be deployed on the cloud. So it opens up an explorer window and also takes me to the Azure portal where I can upload and deploy my application. So here you would notice that there is a default project name already created which I have given during my sign up process and I also see a new service link here. Once I click that I can actually choose between storage account or hosted services account. I don't need storage at, at this point so I, I select on the hosted services. I give a service label which is like uh, an identifier for my new service. Click on next and here I would actually see a new button. But before that let's see if the public service name is available. So I type cloud clock and click on check availability. Then comes the affinity part. Because I want to place my service in Asia, I choose anywhere in Asia. And once I give the basic details, the portal would take me to the next step where I'm all set to deploy my cloud application. So I click on the deploy button and browse to the project that's already packaged and is ready for deployment. So I click on the browse button and navigate to the folder where I have the package and also the configuration file which is going to define the topology and how my cloud application is going to behave at runtime. I give a name to identify the deployment and click on deploy. It takes some time depending on your configuration and the code that you have written to go from multiple phases. Very soon you would notice that the web role is currently in the stop mode. So we go ahead and click on the run button and from stopped it's going to move into the initializing phase. So behind the scenes Windows Azure is actually spinning a virtual machine and porting our application onto it. Now you would notice that the web role has moved from busy to ready and we are all set to test our application. So we click on the website URL and you would notice that our clock is now running on the cloud and you would also see a time difference between the previous clock and this clock primarily because it's running on a Microsoft data center somewhere in the world. We really don't know which service or which server is basically hosting it. So that's all about the first application on the commercially available Windows Azure platform. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.